appreciate it, Coach. Tough loss today. What were your overall thoughts? You know, offensively, we just got to be better. I mean, we went into the first half, and they produced four chances at goal, and we produced zero. And it's, you're not going to win a lot of games when you can't put even a, a shot on goal. And, you know, for all the work that we do in two-thirds of the field in the final third, the final pass, the vision to see the space, uh, and either to move into it or carry the ball into it, it we're missing that, right? And so it, it's, it's you know, a struggle right now because we are. it takes something to happen to all of a sudden create that urgency to create the opportunities that we saw that most of those four happened in the last 20 minutes of the, of, of the game yeah. and it was the urgency that we needed and if you have that early on you potentially flip-flop games from you know losses to wins or at least getting ties out of them so mentally I'm very proud of the fact that we've approached the game we've dealt with adversity and they're not turning on each other their work rate is still there um, you know but offensively we're just not clicking yet you know and um you know we right now we're in a situation where we've got to be perfect if we want to come out with a with a result because the result for us was looking at zero zero until we can start putting putting more shots on goal and putting some more in the back of the net and we have the players that are there that's again this is a young team uh coming off of a, a little bit of a rough patch of a season, but we've got a lot of, a few new players into it and they're still learning each other. And I think the more we practice, the more we play, um, it's gonna happen. I, I'm, I'm confident in them if they continue with the right mindset that they've had. I mean, the fact, proud of the fact there's no give up in them. What about Dominic's play in net? He made a lot of saves and despite that one goal, he kept you guys in it late when he backtracked and made that save with sure. minutes left. No, hey, big time. His performance has been that way all year long. We've got someone that can be a game changer in the goal. And if it comes down to him making a save, that's just from a win and a, or a draw. Um, we're going to probably get a win out of it, you know. And it's nice that we can have that confidence in him. But again, we can't rely on it because we can't rely on him to make, you know, 10, 12 six saves a game, but yet then we're not testing the target up front 10 or 12 times. And what are you expecting from the LSU Shreveport team coming in on Thursday to start conference? I mean, they're going to be very athletic, fast in the flanks, and they're going to combine very well in the attacking third. They've always been that type of players. They're bringing a lot of international players out there um, that are they're very dynamic. So I expect to see a very dynamic team. We're going to have, a, have to do what we start set out to do today, which was be, be defensively perfect, but we're going to have to fulfill that <laughs> and uh, and then we got to still find it find some chances right going forward and we just got to do better with those chances all right thanks Shane all right thank you the Saints lost one to zero to Wayland Baptist University today they'll host LSU Shreveport on Thursday to open conference for Olu Saints Network I'm Ryan O'Keefe